Elizabeth here with another Rough Draft DIY video, and I'll be showing you how to make a Grinner Knot out of Manila Rope. This video can actually serve as a supplement to another one of my videos in which I show you how to make a hanging garden out of repurposed metal. In the video I suggested you choose your own knot, and there are many different knots that could be used for this project, but a Grinner Knot provides a great line and no dangling loose ends of the rope, just a clean symmetry. I'll be demonstrating with this piece of old fence post, and in my other video I use this giant bolt, if you're wondering what that thing is. But you can use any piece of scrap metal, or even driftwood if you want. You'll also need a quarter inch thick manila rope, pins, heavy duty scissors, and super glue or rubber cement. To get the knot started, place the rope around the metal with about a foot of loose end on the side nearest you. Pinch the two sides of the rope together, and make a loop with the loose end, pinching it in with the base. The loop should be no bigger than 3 inches in diameter. Then wrap the loose end around the two strands you're pinching, and through the loop. Tighten and wrap it around and through again. Keep that up until you have about 7 or 8 passes with the rope. How big your original loop is will determine how many passes you can make with the rope. You might have to try a few times before you make the perfect knot. When you're all done, pull on the loose end one last time to tighten the knot. Then stick a couple of pins through the end to secure it. Then cut the loose end down to the pin. Now we're almost done with the knot, but before we put on the finishing touches, I just want to specify that this is not a noose. Uh, a Grinner knot and a noose are very similar, except that uh, a noose is adjustable, but Grinner knots are pretty permanent, meaning that if you, once you tie it like this, it's going to stay this way. This loop here on the end will neither extend nor shorten itself, and it'll be able to hold the full weight of uh, whatever you wrap it around. And Grinner knots were originally, are originally used for fishing hooks, uh, so they're not supposed to be pretty or aesthetically pleasing, but there are a few things that we can do in order to make them look this nice and not like a knot for a fishing hook. We can make it look nice and neat by hiding this back end of the loop with pins, so all you see in the front are the clean layers of rope. Just pull the loop as far back as it will go and push the pins all the way through, and cover the cut edge with glue so that it won't fray. And you'll do the same exact steps on the other side, leaving about 22 to 24 inches of rope between the two knots. Well, that's it. It's a pretty simple knot to make. I'll post the video below of how to make the complete hanging garden. But you could also use this piece to hang kitchen utensils or towels, garden tools, whatever you'd like. And if you don't want to make your own, I do sell these hanging gardens in my Etsy shop, along with more of my handmade originals. So check it out at roughdraftdiy.etsy.com. Well, thanks for watching, and please click the like or subscribe button below, or leave a comment. And I'll be back later with another Rough Draft DIY video.